Thank you for tuning into the Boxing Voice. I'm your boy Jeremy Flanagan. If you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. If you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. Jared Washington knows a little bit of something about that, taking this fight with Deontay Wilder on such short notice. But Jared Washington is ready to prove to the world and to Deontay Wilder why this fight right here is not as easy as people make it out to be. Jared Washington joined us on our TBV podcast to explain just that. On the line and with me I had uh, none other than Gerald Washington as promised. Mr. Washington, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. How you guys doing? We are happy to have you, Gerald. We want to thank hello, you. Hello, hello, hello. We got you. We're happy to have you. We want to thank you for taking out the time to give us the opportunity to interview you. El Gallo Negro, very uh, appreciative yeah. of your time. Yeah. You're coming into, a, obviously, uh, the fight of your life thus far. An opportunity at the WBC title. Uh, very luxurious title. One that even Muhammad Ali has held. I mean, how is this moment for you? How are you uh, taking it all in? Oh, man, it's very exciting, man. You know, um, all I'm thinking, all I got in my mind is just prepare, 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 man. You know, put this plan together. Get ready to take this dude's out, man. Bring this back home. Uh, we're working hard, man. We're working hard. My trainer and I, man, we got a great game plan. And it's uh it's gonna be it's gonna be a beautiful night, man. It's gonna be a lovely day. Now you took this fight on short notice, yeah. obviously. Um it's not something that you would have normally done, right? Like ideally you would have wanted an eight week camp for you know the biggest fight of your career, but you had to take whatever came your way. How do you capitalize on this moment knowing that, you know, you didn't have the full training camp? Your mindset wasn't 100% focused on Deontay Wilder because you had another opponent. Yeah, but, you know, uh, and the great part about us, man, we're constantly working. We, we, always, we always had Deontay Wilder and all the other champions at mind anyway. You know, when, when you're training and you're coming up the ranks, you, you see those guys. And I'm looking at those guys anyway because they got the same – you know, body type and frame as I do. Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua, Chris. Well, I'm looking, I got my eye on all those guys, man. So I'm always learning how to fight, you know, uh, prepare for those guys. And, and, you know, it was just, it was just, it was just a flip and switch for us, you know what I mean? It's just say, okay, uh, now we're going to be fighting Deontay Wilder. Okay, cool. So now we just, we just got to set the game plan. But we're already in shape, man. So we don't have to worry about, about that part. You know, all we got to do is worry about our game plan. We can, we can come up with a great game plan in a month. Hey, Gerald. So this is Stephen Calderon. So uh, just a quick question. Uh, yeah, Deontay Wilder did an interview with us yes, and he mentioned about how he did spar with you before and that you know he was kind of bragging a bit saying that he gave you a, uh, a, uh, a concussion and that you might still be concussed now. Do you think that he holds any type of mental edge over you right now going into this fight? Uh, I mean, Deontay Water, I, I, it was real tough. I, mean, I couldn't hear everything that you guys were saying, but all I heard was the last part that he have a mental edge. I mean, I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm not worried about Deontay Water. I'm, I'm worried. To, I'm concerned with myself and my training, and my preparation. As long as I'm 100, percent man, I'm gonna be Deontay Water. You know, he, he can he can feel out he wants to feel about me. Yeah, he has experience. He's been in the ring. He's been champion for a while. He's defended it a couple of times, but he's never been in the ring with anybody like me. So um, I'm bringing that to the table, man. I'm coming hard, man. So if he underestimates me, under, underestimates me, underestimates me, you got to root away from me. Um, what's going on, Gerald? This is Boxing MD. Um, obviously, Deontay Wilder is coming off an injury with his right hand. Do you believe that his hand is 100%? And does that affect, obviously you can't give away your game plan, but does it affect how you train at all, you know, to assume that maybe um, he hasn't recovered 100% relying a lot on his left hand instead of his right? Yeah, you guys ever play that, that, that game, Bloody Knuckles? I'm going to put him in his right hand as hard as I can, man, and, and take him out of there. <laughs> hey, man, that'd be uh, at least a... <laughs> good game plan if happening. <laughs> oh, nah, nah, it's all good, man. I'm just, I'm, I'm a, we're preparing for the best Deontay Wilder that, that we got. We're not concerned about any of that, man. We're not concerned with his with his bicep. We're not concerned with his with his hand. You know, we we we're just looking for the best Deontay Wilder. You know, I, 
I don't want to. I'm hoping he's at 100 percent because I don't want to hear any excuses. I don't want to hear anything, man. Because I'm going through my I'm going through my share stuff too. Everybody goes through the bumps and bruises in, in camp. You know what I mean? So uh, I'm 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 working for it, man. I'm bringing all I got, man. If he's not ready, he don't have to fight on February 25th. He can hold on. You know he can he can you know he can go ahead and pass me that belt if he wants. But uh, I don't want to hear any excuses about a hand or bicep or nothing like that after we, after we fight, man. I'm I'm not going there to to fight the best Deontay Wilder, and I'm handling my business. Gerald, it's Enrique Church, um, the casual fan. So you you mentioned you you want to be a hundred percent, right? The fight is only about nine days away, eight days away. What percentage you think you at right now? Yeah. No, I'm at a good percent. I'm I'm good. I'm saying I I, hope, I said I'm 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 preparing for a hundred percent. The uh, Deontay Water at a hundred percent. I'm not worried about him and his injuries or whatever. You know what I'm I said everybody goes through their through their bumps and bruises through camp, but. I mean, I'm gonna be good, man. I'm, I'm gonna be 100. percent You know, I'm gonna be focused. I'm gonna be locked in on the fight, man. man. And whether 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 I'm 100 percent or not, man, you guys ain't gonna know nothing. You guys just gonna know that I'm I'm there to fight. You gonna see that. That's what that's what you gonna see. So, Gerald, I mean, uh, can you let us know who you use for preparation for this fight? Like, who were you able to find to mimic his height, his style, or are you not concerned with any of that? You know, what sort of choosing and selection did you use for sparring partners? Yeah, I mean, he, he got he got different skills that he brings to the table. He's a big, long guy. He's six seven. You know, he has long reach and stuff. So we got a tall guy, too. But but it's hard to find the exact combination of guys. But, you know, I, I, I picked a lot of guys that were, like, more built for speed and faster guys because cause he is pretty explosive. So that's what I want to prepare for. I'm not worried about the length and the size. I, I could deal with that all day. I deal with that all day. We get plenty of sparring guys that are 6'5", six, 6'6", and 6'7". Six, 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 that's not the issue. The issue is, is what can he do athletically and, 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 and how he carries himself around the ring, man. So that's why we're dealing with faster fights, man. A lot of cruiserweights and guys with speed. Do you take, uh, I guess, any confidence in the fact that the both of you share a similar amateur background where you're both not that experienced in the amateur world and you're learning on the job as a professional? I mean, yeah, he, he's got to he's got to go around the world and, and, and compete and stuff like that, man. But, you know, my, my 14 amateur fights, man, those, those are as real as they come, man. You know, I come from the hard streets of Vallejo, California. So, uh... So yeah, man. Nah, it's not about that, man. It's not about that for me. I, I get I get plenty of experience in in sparring and in the training, and we, we work on stuff, man. We really lock in and, and key in on on uh, things that we need to work on, and, and 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 I know how to deal with Deontay Wilder. You know what I mean? So like I said, if I'm at my best, I will be Deontay Wilder. Man. All right, Joe. Well, my last question, obviously, uh, can you let me know how you've envisioned it? I mean, I, I, I could only imagine that if I were going up for the heavyweight title of the world, I'd be dreaming myself to sleep and envisioning how I'm going to win it, how it's going to go down or what happens after. I mean, when you close your eyes at night as these days approach, what thoughts do go through your mind? Man, I just look. I just look at him, man, and I see a man. You know what I'm saying? I see a guy that's that's that's, that's you know he comes to fight. I'm not. I'm not a. Uh, I'm very capable, man. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't put too much out there. You know, I'm just saying I, I'm. I'm well prepared for the fight. You know, I, I I've dealt with his style. I'm. I'm. I'm I like his style, and uh, I'm very comfortable with it. And I look forward to to stepping to him, man. You can see the boxing boys.